Welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm your entrepreneurship tutor, Professor Henry Buiz of Jomo Kenyatta University of Agriculture and Technology in Kenya. I want to talk about my project management students. This is project management lesson from India. Yes, that is E.F. Schumacher, the author of Small is Beautiful, a study of economics as people, as if people mattered. Yes, Schumacher was, or rather, who is best known for his proposals of human scale, decentralized, and appropriate technologies, first articulated the idea of intermediate technology, which is now known as appropriate technology. It was way back in 1962 when Jawaharlal Nehru had invited him to India and that year he wrote a report to the Indian Planning Commission where he described India as long in labor and short in capital, calling for an intermediate industrial technology that harnessed India's labor surplus. Schumacher went on to write in part that a project that does not fit educationally and organizationally into the environment will be an economic failure and indeed a cause for disruption. Now, here we see some Indian stakeholders of a project who are actually destroying it. Is it weak project stakeholder analysis? Let's look at it. Yes, these stakeholders are destroying a solar panel project. Looks like it's a grandiose project, but maybe it's not fitting organizational, even education and the community. So one wonders, was this a question of poor stakeholder analysis? Now let us see a simple stakeholder matrix. There it is. A simple matrix of stakeholder will have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven columns and about four roles. So the first column we shall put stakeholders, primary stakeholders, for example, that category, those who directly benefit from a project, for example, farmers in the case of that solar panel. Secondary stakeholders, those who indirectly benefit from that project, for example, traders who benefit by trading in the outputs of the farm. And then there are the tertiary stakeholders like the non-government organizations. So for each stakeholder, we have to analyze the impact. How does the project impact them? And identify those impacts first column, second column. Third column, we have to, inf to identify the influence. How do the stakeholders influence the project? Identify that. Then the importance or, or what is important in the project for the stakeholders, we have to analyze it. Then contribution. How could stakeholders contribute to the project? Then the threats. How could they block the project? Having done all this analysis, we can now come out with strategy. How do we engage them? With this simple analysis, the stakeholders that we see out there destroying a project would have been involved and probably that destruction would not have occurred. Yes. Did you like it? then please, yes, like it, comment, 
share, subscribe, and indeed, thank you for watching.